WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update and currently all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. You've got the Dow off 139 points, S&P 38, NASDAQ 100, 288, Russell's off 33, semis down 140, Tranny's off 339, spot volatilics up 9.9%. You want to watch that at day's end. If there's a one-day rate of change above plus 10%, you're going to expect and anticipate some type of bounce overnight. It could be a bounce or a bottom out there. Uh, gold is off eight bucks silver's down 10 cents lights recruit is off 11 pennies natural gas trading out at six dollars and 14 cents that is up 43 pennies so we'll go take a, a few moments here and take a look at our uh, uh, nq charts out there just to follow up to what we looked at at the opening of the uh, trader's edge show we're going to see that those bottom signals are still present as we speak on a 10 minute basis the bar that just ended was a retest of the prior bar that was down there and it was on a lighter volume about a thousand less contracts or so as that was tested. You've got bottoming signals on a 5-minute, on a 10-minute, on a 15-minute, on a 30-minute, uh, on a 60-minute uh, chart out here. So what we do know is that the bulls are attempting to form some type of bottom inside of the NQ. Now let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. We'll, and now if the bottoms get taken out, the bottom the low of the day gets taken out, meaning it closes below, then we've got a different message. But right now the message is attempts at trying to form some type of uh, bottom, at least some type of counter trend move. As we take a look at the cash indice charts on the Dow, we see price has tested the last couple of days screen off center and change line that's a bullish signal price is still above it so that signal has not changed the s p 500 has got a td9 count top it's above its green oscillator and change line its signal is neutral td9 count top in the ndx 100 price above its green oscillator and change line its signal is neutral the russell 2000 price is trading below its green oscillator and change line that suggests you could see a further retracement the same for the semiconductors semiconductors are actually worse because that's a red oscillator and change line that says it may want to go make its way all the way back to the lows of March. The transports, uh, no bottom signal here. Looks like they're headed for the lows of March, and below that could be the lows of February. New York Stock Exchange, a TD9 count top, price above its green oscillator and change line. Its signal is neutral. The composite, its signal is neutral as well. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, is up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining us here. I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp. Take care.